Hello, YouTube. This is Alexander again, and today is kind of a day again because I have on the bench th this little charger. Uh, as you can see, this is a Black Decker charger, and its status is non working, and uh, it has the ability to charge two different batteries, like 6, six volt and 12 volt, according to the position of the switch. And uh, at first glance, you can see it's a little bit dirty and um, probably it was working on very hard uh, environments, bad surrounding, and you can see the crocodile clip was a little bit rusty. And also you can see the decoloration due to a very aggressive sun. So I think this charger has a very harsh day. So um, if we connect it, we want to see if there is any uh, hint of consumption on it. Uh, it can uh, demonstrate if there is a fuse disconnected inside. So, okay, we have seen a uh, red light here and uh, this is the proof that there is a charger, uh, a capacitor charging on it. So, but it's not working, no sign of life, and of course, if I put a battery on it, yes, this is a battery. Absolutely nothing. But we can find a little voltage on the clip, but not enough to charge anything. Okay, let's dismount it and see what there is inside. We can see here SMD diode and uh, the first thing is to check the presence of the voltage here. The main probably comes here and that's okay and goes probably here. Okay, still the main. And probably after the, those diode, you can find probably a capacitor and uh, a secondary circuit. And uh, if you take a look just here, you can see a capacitor and another capacitor. Just take a look if there is a voltage on it. Okay. And the other one. Okay, there is probably a resistor or um, an inductor making the connection between those two leads. This kind of inductor provide the circuit uh, to reject some high frequencies on the main, but it also work on the uh, different sense. We have a screw here. Another screw here, let's just point it. Okay, I see a big diode uh, on, on the back here. It will be a good thing to test it. Okay, okay, the diode is correct. So let's test this transistor just quickly to be sure there is not a short on it. Okay, apparently there is a voltage somewhere. 
Okay. Okay. That's okay. Okay, not short. So, um, if we take a look here, you can see a bulge capacitor. According to the visual of these capacitors, it's not a good thing. Okay, and they are those one. Be very careful when you test some component because you can make mistake confounding some uh, joint with another. It uh, can be dangerous for your equ equipment and uh, for your device you try to repair. Three is okay. So first. So it's a very bad ESL according the value of this capacitor which is quite high because it's uh, double the they are double not one single and if you if you look the value in it it's about 60 volts and 1000 microfarad. Let's test uh, those uh, main capacitors. Of course, be sure they are discharged. Okay. The contact is very dodgy. Okay. And we have the same body, okay. Um, okay, we have some another com co capacitor here, which is just here. Thirty one ohm. Okay. It doesn't want to measure it. Very bad, yes. Sir. Okay, let's uh, connect this one in place of those one. Still no voltage. We have fourteen eight fourteen eight. Okay. The replacement of this capacitor seems to be uh, enough, I think, because very little capacitor has have also very low ESR. Merci. And I think this device is gonna be working like that. So if I disconnect this battery, if I disconnect it, still flashing. Okay, let's reconnect this. Okay, it's flashing. Okay. Okay, this is the wrong polarity detection. Let's try.
it was a perfect disaster. So um, when I tried to make the inverted polarities to see the protection, the protection, protection didn't work actually and some components exploded. So the diode you can see here was a kind of transistor. I absolutely don't have any information about that uh, transistor because when it explodes, uh, the writing on it uh, was not um, readable. So after changing this diode, also I had another component destroyed uh, just here. Um, and of course, because he was, it was completely destroyed. I have no information about that. So I managed to uh, make uh, a bulb like that to just to use the resistance effect of it to manage between non-working and working device. And uh, now the working is uh, the now the device is working just when um, the battery is fully charged the LED stop flashing okay if I make a simulation of charged batteries like this okay this is uh, equivalent to charge batteries the LED stop flashing and if I disconnect the lead simulation it's uh, it retake the process of charging and here we can see a current of charge uh, very low because uh, the battery is, is fully charged at 400 milliamp so okay okay for this time it was uh, it was a disaster because i think uh, I was too much curious and sometimes when you want to be too much curious it doesn't work so it was Alexander again for this beautiful uh, fail um, until you see you soon